hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be preparing some delicious stew peas with some salted beef so if you are interested please come along with me but before you come please remember to tap the red subscribe button if you haven't yet done so also turn on your post notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos because i'm always good so here in my pot i have some peas soaking i'm using a pound of raw red peas you can use the peas of your choice to that i added enough water so that the peas can soak because i'm going to boil the peas with the same water some persons throw off the water after they soak the peas but i don't do that when i'm making my stew because if i do that then my stew will not have the nice red color that i love so I'm going to leave the water so if you like you can throw off yours to that I added two garlic cloves because I like to soak my peas with it in my bowl I have some salted beef while I was seasoning the beef to be cured I also added some garlic powder all purpose onion powder and black pepper I also added pimento seeds so my beef is well seasoned so these are the sizes that I will be using this is two pounds of beef I cut them in some big chunks also guys this bonus I could not get the one with the bone so I had to use the bonus normally I like to use the one with the bone to make my stew and my soup but I could not get it as I said earlier so I am using the, the bonus you can cut your meat in the size that you want but for me when I cut it small then it will shrink when it cooks so I'm going to let the peas come to a boil afterwards I'm going to add the meat So guys don't worry about the amount of water in the pot remember we're going to pressure it so some of it is going to be reduced also when we add the dumplings after the peas and the meat finish cooking it's going to reduce also and get thick so the water is just enough at this point i'm going to cover the pressure cooker a little pressure for 15 to 20 minutes it actually depends on the speed of your pressure cooker it has been pressuring for 20 minutes so now i'm going to check to see if it is fully pressured so here i'm just using a spoon to stir to see if they are finished pressuring they look soft so i'm going to take a piece of the meat and test it but the piece is fully cooked Since it is fully pressured, I am going to turn on the stove and allow it to come to a boil. When it comes to a boil, I'm going to add 200 milliliters of coconut milk. I'm using the packed coconut milk, so what I did, I just added some water and then I mix it out and I add it into the pot. You can use whichever coconut milk of your choice if you want to use a can, if you want to use the natural coconut milk. It doesn't really matter they're all coconut milk afterwards I'm going to add some fresh seasoning so here I'm just adding some scallions I like to twist it before I add it into the pot I'm going to add fresh thyme you can also add your pimento seeds but I seasoned mine with it already I'm going to add a scotch bunny pepper and I'm gonna add a few garlic cloves so it doesn't need any salt remember the beef is salted so we're just going to season it up let it come to a boil and then we're going to add the spinners so i'm doing this on a high flame Here 
here I am adding the spinners into the pots you can make them the size of your choice It's okay to add the seasonings of your choice. You can also add a carrot if you want to add some Irish potatoes. You can add. It's your stew, guys, so do it the way you like it. I'm just showing you how I do mine. After I add the spinners, I'm going to stir it occasionally because at times it may stick to the pot so you have to keep stirring so as you can see guys it's getting a little thick but with this scotch bonnet pepper I try not to let it burst so I keep it on top of the pot so I like to add a little black pepper to mine so here I'm just adding a little afterwards I am going to let cover it and let it come down more but remember to stir it occasionally At this point it is almost ready but if you like you could leave yours like this but I like mine a little thicker so I'm going to let it come down a little bit more but I'm not going to let all the liquid dry out because remember when it cools it's going to be very thick so guys my stew is all done as you can see guys it has reduced a little bit more but you still have the beef it's not mashed out in the pot and it is thick and rich just the way i like it and guys trust me it smells so good guys there's so much flavor bursting right now this is a finished product guys i love to eat a lot of stew with a little bit of rice i love to eat it with my salad and you know we can't leave out the scratch bunny pepper i don't love to eat guys but i love to see it in my plate especially for presentation so i hope you enjoyed this video please remember to like share comment and subscribe for more awesome tasty and delicious recipes see you next time bye bye